for the Decanter 2010 World Wine Awards. It was a record year for Decanter and in one of the toughest years of wine trades ever known we are thrilled with the result. Um, our entries were 10,983, that's 17 off 11,000, an absolute record. Um, what we're most proud of, however, is our judging, not just our numbers. And our judging is, we believe, unique. We have the world's best experts. I believe we're the only competition where you actually know who judged your wines, you know the panel who judged your wines, and you know the qualifications they have. Um, the other thing we do, which you may not recognize, is we take a lot of time in judging the wines. You have a year's work in your wine. Well, the average number of wines that are tasted a day by a decanter panel are 74. This is not a, um, a large, how many wines do we get through? The, that was the average. The maximum number of wines tasted by a panel was 86 and the lowest was 65. I hope that gives you the reassurance you need of how seriously we take the judging. There are also uh, judges sit down, they use regal glasses. It is a very serious event. Um, our judges, as I said, we believe are the best in the world, from Isa Ball, the Fat Duck Sommelier, to Jeannie Cho Lee, um, Asia's first MW of wine. We believe if you get the right people right at the start to judge your wines, you don't need masses and masses of retasting. You just need the right people with the right amount of time to judge your wines. And as I said, you can see exactly who judged them. Um, the other thing that we'd like to talk about is obviously our media reach. Um, you know Decanter Magazine, it started in 1975. We also have Decanter.com that goes to 150,000 people monthly. And we also take the award winners around the world in our global tastings. Last year we had a tasting in Shanghai for a month, we had one in Sydney, and we had two weeks at Selfridges in Oxford Street. This year we're adding Vancouver and many other cities around the world. We're a great believer of getting our consumers to taste your winning wines. So I would thank you for all your support. Um, the dinner where we will be announcing the international trophies will be on September the 1st at the Royal Opera House in London. And I'd now like to introduce our chair, Stephen Spurry, to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sarah. It will be a very few words because I just overheard Sarah saying much of what I was going to say. Anyway, Decanter World Wine Awards has had seven fat years since we began in 2004. And while biblically this should mean we are facing seven lean years, we will actually enjoy seven even fatter years. The reasons are clear. We have the best tasters, we have more masters of wines and top sommeliers than other competitions and more international judges. We have the best space to taste in, the works with this large white photographic studio, rooms filled with natural light, and as Sarah said, judges sit down, tables at three or four. We have the best organization throughout the week, and above all, the best organization, thanks to Sarah's dedicated team throughout the year. We have the best distribution of information throughout the world, thanks to the IPC and Warner companies. So, quite simply, we are the biggest and best consumer wine competition and with the continued support of the producers from every single wine producing country and our friends in the trade in the UK, we are determined to remain so. Thank you.